Peace and greetings, everyone. I'm going to show you um, just a quick overview of the Hijacker app with the Kali Linux NetHunter phone. So let's look at it. So here we have the wonderful NetHunter phone, Kali Linux on your Android phone. And right now I'm going to show you a quick look at this cool app here. And when you open it up, and uh, when you're in monitor mode, it scans for a whole bunch of nearby Wi-Fi networks. You can click and you can do quite a few things. So we have info, mark, copy Mac, watch, and set alias. So info shows uh, a whole bunch of different information, the Mac address, the channel, uh, the RSSI, or the power of how close it is, um, the encryption, <clears throat> which is uh, important detail, so you can uh, determine uh, <clears throat> as a cybersecurity professional um, what to do uh, according what encryption it is. Uh, we have the authentication, so PSK means it requires a password, um, beacons, and beacons means how many um, different uh, devices, um, not necessarily an individual, but different devices are connected to it and how many uh, responses it's getting. Uh, clients is how many actual people are connected to it. <clears throat> and um, then it has the name and manufacturer if that pops up. So you can um, quickly see different ones. Uh, for example, <clears throat> uh, you could see the manufacturer of this one. This is a public Wi-Fi, so encryption, it's open, no encryption. And um, you could see how many different uh, beacons or responses it's getting. So here you can um, look at different ones. Uh, <clears throat> uh, next we have uh, Mark. So you can uh, highlight it. Uh, next we have Attack. So you could disconnect, copy disconnect, DOS, crack, and you're going to need monitor mode if you want to mess. And um, the DOS, <clears throat> uh, denial of service, um, attempts to, and then we have crack, and that attempts to uh, crack um, the <clears throat> Wi-Fi network um, on the device with small uh, password lists. And next we have uh, MKD, uh, MDK3 and Reaver um, crack the file where you could save it and uh, download it. Um, you can add in a word list of all your different word lists. And you can uh, select different features and then you can uh, start and do speed tests. Um, here we have custom actions and all the different uh, settings. Um, you could set uh, which uh, Wi-Fi card for your monitor mode, like if you want to plug in an external. And then you can um, set the uh, commands and all that. <clears throat> and here, um, if you have a, a card, or a, a, um, if you have firmware, to install, you can also install it right here, um, and it will attempt to install uh, firmware. Like um, if you have a Nexus 5 that has monitor mode um, stock, and then yeah, you can just mess around with all the settings to your liking. Uh, but that's a basic overview of a uh, hijacker, it's basically a graphical interface of. Um, a few Linux tools, so it makes it a lot easier, and um, you don't need to carry a laptop. So that's a quick overview of one of the many things you can do with this NetHunter phone. Um, the Hijacker app is just one of many. Uh, me personally, I like to use the uh, terminal, and I'll show you guys some uh, cool terminal uh, tips and tricks, um, some good commands to know, some good tools to know. Um, and I'm getting a new uh, Wi-Fi adapter, um, so I'll be able to do some tests and show you what that's like. Uh, my old Wi-Fi adapter, I did get it from Goodwill, but I think it was definitely faulty. Um, it smoked out. Uh, 
uh, when I tried to power it one day. So I do not currently have a good one, um, even though this does have monitor mode um, with some tweaking. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions, comments, uh, any specific things of the NetHunter phone you would like. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos around this. I'm still uh, really just getting to know uh, this whole uh, phone uh, in and out so I can give you guys the best digestible information. Um, but thanks for tuning in and see you later.